Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect MailChimp to your Wix website in 2023. MailChimp is a powerful email marketing tool that allows you to create and send email campaigns to your subscribers. So, let's easily get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So now what we need to do of course is just go and open whatever browser you're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually using Brave. But of course in your case, you can use any other browser could be possibly working for you. As an example, you can use Google Chrome, you can use Firefox, you can use Opera, you can use Brave like me, even an Internet Explorer if it's working for you. So whatever browser you have or you want to use, go ahead and use it. Once you do that, of course, you can simply go to your URL section and simply type wix.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the home screen or the main screen of Wix website. And of course, here, if you have an account, you can simply click on the login option and that will take you to this page. Of course, here, you can simply enter your email and check this remember me option if you don't want to keep logging in into your account every time you get into the site or into the website of course if you forgot your email you can simply click here so you can get it back or remember it of course make sure to read this term of use and privacy policy so you don't get in any future troubles as you can see you can read them very carefully because it's very important so you don't have any problems in the future with Wix company. Of course, this site is protected by Recaptcha Enterprise, Google Privacy and Terms of Use apply, so make sure to read them. And of course, you can even log in into your account with Google, Facebook or even Apple or with your SSO. If you don't have an account, make sure to click on the sign up option. And of course, from here you can create your account by entering your email, then retyping your email, creating a password, and typing your password again, then clicking on sign up. Of course, again, you can create your account with a Google account or even Facebook account. And by signing up, you're agreed to our term of use and the knowledge you've read our privacy policy. It's the same as I showed you before. So for me, let me just fill this information real quick right here. Let's say an example that's going to be my email. I'm just going to retype it or like this. The password, let's say it's going to be something like this. And let's just re enter it. And here we are. As I said, you can or you don't have to fill all of those if you want. You can simply click add continue with Google if you have your Google account already connected and choose the email or the Gmail that you want to connect with. For me, I choose the same email that I choose here. So now let me just save this. So next time I want to log in or something, I'll not have to fill those manually. And here I'll have to answer a quick survey. So let's set up with the right tools. First, who are you creating a website for? Of course, you can answer those questions or you can simply click on skip. So do whatever suits you. For me, let's say an example for me or my business or friends. So I'll click on continue. And here, what kind of websites are you creating? Let's say, an example, online store. Click on next. Should not take a lot of time, this survey. And of course, if you're getting bored, as I said, always click on skip. Enter your store name. Let's say, an example, it's going to be something like this. Click on next. Because this survey will even help you uh, understand them a lot. And even they will, will even help you and give you a recommendation based on your survey right here. So let's say an example is going to be blog, I don't know, maybe music, video, and click on next. Why not? So here, as you can see, we can simply now go to our dashboard. And as you can see, they are preparing my dashboard right now. So I'll have to wait a couple of seconds and I'm going to be right there. So as you can see, now we are at the dashboard of my Wix account. And here, of course, I would like to finish this steps to set up my store as an example. I'll have to add a first, my first product and then set up a payment method. Then, of course, set up shipping and delivery address. Then 
design my website, then connect to a custom domain, then get found by customers on Google. So the first thing that we would like to do, of course, if you want to connect your MailChimp to your Wix website, is go to this left panel and click on apps, which will take you to the app market of Wix website. Once you're here, go to search apps option and simply type mail chimp and hit the enter button. That will right away take you into this page. As you can see, there are two MailChimp apps right here, MailChimp email marketing Poco and MailChimp for by MailChimp. Of course, you can check just the better rating or you can go and check our people comments if you want you'll be good to go whatever you want to choose of course you can make some research about even other apps if you don't want just the mailchimp one so let's say example i choose this one so simply first of all this app is available worldwide so you can use it wherever you are on the world and the app supported or the language is supported on the app is english you can translate all app content display on your site into any language though and of course, the site requirements is a premium plan, then a connected domain. And of course, the features that comes with this is a pop-out and embed forms, landing pages, automated welcome emails, email blasts. And of course, you can even read more about its features right here if you click on read more and read all of it. Once you think or once you think it's the best for you, you can simply click on add to site. But as I showed you or as I told you that you will need a premium site required. So if you don't have it, you can simply click on upgrade site and they will take you to their page to choose one of their plans. As you can see, they have three plans. Each of them comes with its own price and each of them comes with its own features. Of course, if you pay more, you will get more features. And this, this one in the middle is the most popular. Once you paid for your plan, now you'll be able to add this app. Just make sure that the other MailChimp option is a premium site required as well. So you will need to upgrade your site anyway. So as I said, choose whatever of them. And let's say as an example, you're going to add this. So once you have your premium site, you can simply add it to size. And you can even watch this video, Wix MailChimp integrated app by Poco. And as you can see, this will connect your Wix website to MailChimp with a few easy clicks. So once you add it into your site, you'll be able to connect it with, as you can see, with easy few clicks. If you need more information, you can watch this video or you don't need to because once you add it, the steps will be provided to you right away on the app and you will be able to do them very easily by your own. And of course, once you do that, you'll be able to create email campaigns in MailChimp and then track in your email campaigns, of course, in MailChimp as well. and make sure to go and check if everything is working by another website go and open another not website sorry store uh, browser just go and open another browser and go to your store and check if everything is working and make sure to check that also in your mailchimp account once you do all of that and check everything is fine you'll be good to go of course if you have any problems you can come back and fix them very easily so that's it for this video on how to connect mailchimp to your Wix websites in 2023. MailChimp is a powerful email marketing that allows you, of course, to create and send email campaigns to your subscribers. And just remember that. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.